towers could be put. It may be difficult, but I'm not convinced that there's not an alternative site. On top of that, I'd like to say, on top of that, I would like to say, which might not get much applause, is that I'm convinced, based on that presentation to us at our work session, that the Valdosta Country Club does have a right to have the tower on their property. I just don't think this is the most ideal location, given the residential nature of Bellmead and plantation. Uh, secondly, I'll just speak for my part. I consider it um, unethical for me to lobby, in this particular case, any of the members of the Valdosta City Council before we vote or after we vote. Uh, that's just for me. I'm not speaking for my other commissioners. They can make their own decisions on this. However, by casting my vote in a certain direction, I can send a subtle signal to the Valdosta City Council that maybe there should be a little more time on this issue, and maybe there should be a little more investigation of potential alternative sites, a little more remote from Bellmead and Plantation. But uh, on that basis, I will not be able to vote for approval on this particular bill. All right, then. Uh, if there's no other discussion, I will open it up for a motion. Madam Chairman. Commissioner Wilds. Uh, regarding this case, the digital use request, uh, use 42 01 uh, to place a telecommunications tower on this property, I would like to recommend that we table this case until we can find out perhaps from the country club membership, what their views are with country club management and board, giving us some time to do that since that apparently was not done. Another situation, uh, as uh, Commissioner Hightower just brought up, is it looking at the property, there does appear to be maybe some alternative areas that they could consider that would not be as objectionable as this current site. And uh, so for those reasons, I'd like to recommend that we give them one month to the next uh, scheduled meeting to try to get together and see if there's some other way that could work this case. All right, if I understand correctly, the motion is to table this for one month yes. in order that the Austin Country Club to right. meet with its members. And to see if there's, and so that Verizon could meet with the Country Club to see if there's an alternative location that would not be as an objection. As a point of clarity, the record. The motion would be to recommend table. Correct. Since we have a lot of people in the audience, I don't want any unnecessary confusion. Okay, so we have a motion to table this, a recommendation to table this for one month so that Verizon and Valdosta Country Club could meet with its members to um, further flesh out this and see if there might not be a more desirable site. Do I have a second to this motion? All right, we have a second from Commissioner Graham. All right, is there any discussion on the motion? Madam Chair, just, uh, just a clarification that in future files, there, there are two conditions contained in that. One is for the country club and members, the management and members to get together, convene together, since they can't resolve this. And the second one is for the country club and the block horizon to see if they can come up with all the Is Correct. that the two conditions on Correct. the thing? Okay. Madam Chair, may I address the board Certainly. Uh, Paulson, and it, it, is that a, is that a, you, you are being, um, asked a question. I just want to know if that's a decent time limit for y'all to, uh, that's not a viable request or option, and I'll tell you why. We're under contract, under lease with Verizon. Uh, what we have already done, we have to do for them to get to this country. We are under lease, I told the residences, the Bible Central is designed to lease with Verizon. Is only conditional upon zoning approval. So there is no, we can't go back. I mean, you can give us six months, and we can't put the other sites that won't do us any good to get numbers. <coughs> Nothing on the table that will move this process to completion. The only thing that will move this process to completion is either yes or no vote on the zoning So, so tabling does nothing to satisfy any concern. So these are conditions that. All right. Okay. And quite frankly, we've all looked at it. We have looked at every possible side of the club. Yeah. 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 Yeah
All right, so we have a motion. Um, I think we're going to need to follow through with voting on the motion unless it's being uh, officially pulled. Certainly, we still have a discussion. Yeah, we have a second, but we can certainly. Madam, Madam Chair, I'm, I respect Commissioner Wilde's record. Right? He's been on this commission a long time, a lot longer than I have. I'm normally not in favor of taking things. So, uh, I don't really see, based on what Ms. Colson said, that we can control or manage the two prerequisites of Mr. Wilde's motion. I would prefer an up or down vote, but the best I can get at the table, I'll, I might take that as well. And just for clarity, for clarification purposes, we are a recommending body only. So if we choose to table it today, that doesn't mean that the city council would not go ahead with their vote. Am I correct in saying that? You're right. Correct. You are recommending. So, all right. So um, if we have no other discussion then on this motion, then I will call for the vote. I had one comment. Please. And that comment that I had was, we do not always agree, most times we don't, agree on what we're going to do. And that's why we call you guys out there and ask for your opinion. We don't live in that neighborhood. You live there. You walk your dog in that neighborhood. You know what it's like. We're asking you not to get mad with us, but to look and see how we can better come to a conclusion. Conclusions are not always the very best, and sometimes they're painful. But when this is all over, you're going to have a cup of coffee with somebody that voted yay or nay. So help us help you so we can have a better community. That's all. All right. Yes. I, I'm still sure, uh, talking about Commissioner Wild. I mean, basically, we're handcuffed at this point. We can't hear. We can't hear. I, I, I just said that for Commissioner Wild's motion tonight, we're basically handcuffed. If the motion for, passes. For lack of better terms. If the motion passes. So, so what, 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 sir, what, so to consider what um, was just said about if it doesn't make it the table, can we, are you willing to present it and go ahead and vote up there in that? Sure. No, I'll prefer that. Okay. The table does nothing that's really not going to turn it over to the city. Commissioner Wilds, are you willing to um, pull your motion back? All right. So that motion is withdrawn. That motion has been withdrawn. And I will now open the floor for a new motion. I offer that condition you request by the variety on uh, CU 2020-1 that we recommend to the city council to disapprove it. Second. Yeah. Please allow us to conduct the business. All right, on this motion to deny uh, by Commissioner Calvin Graham, we have a first. Do we have a second on that motion? All right, we have a second by Commissioner Willis. Any discussion on the motion? All right, if not, I'll call for the vote. All those voting in favor of the motion to deny the request, please raise your right hand. Five, six. All those in favor? Again. I'm sorry, against? Did you get the mm -hmm. I did not. All, All right. Against. All those against. against. All right. Against. Raise your hand. And then we have. All right. Right. Yeah. Raise your hands high so Trina can get your count. One, two, three. Three against. Okay. Do we have any abstaining? All right. That's only nine. There are two who haven't voted. No, I don't vote. Who did not vote? I did not vote. Okay, so you're abstaining. I'm abstaining. All right. Now 
get everybody? And we had one missing. Yes. So that got everybody. All right. So for the motion to deny the request, we have six. Trini, catch me if I'm right. We have vote six voting against. Six voting in favor of the vote. Oh, I'm sorry. In, I'm sorry. In favor to deny. Right. And three, and then one abstaining. Okay. All right. So the motion will carry. Two deny. Thank you. 